Okay, my name's Rusty, Rusty Gill, and I'm from Sheridan, Oregon, and I'm the art teacher at the Delphian School, and I've been there for about 35 years, and this is my art display here. And I'm doing a chicken, uh, Piper is the name of this chicken, and I'm drawing and painting it. I just drew it, so now I'm ready to paint. And one of my secrets is, I'll tell you my secret, it's to tape the edges, and it makes a really nice border. Like, let me show you one here. See? See the nice border? Even if you don't paint all around the edges, it makes a really beautiful border so you have a, a nice piece when you're done. Like here's what finished one here, see, with the border. And also, I use recycled paper from my students. Since I'm an art teacher, they do them and then they get rid of them. So their work is sometimes on the back of my pieces. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So anyway, that's what I do. And uh, so now I'm going to start painting. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm trying to match up the colors here. So... sort of demonstrating. So first I'll do the bird beak. Point, 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 point. That'll do. I usually make noises when I paint. It helps kind of when you're going whoop, you know, like that. And I actually have, I usually don't go by a picture, but this is sort of a special one that I'm doing for somebody. There's Piper. So hopefully I got the beak. The beak is actually a little bit lighter, so I'm just gonna smudge it with my finger and make it lighter. And then basically I'm gonna sort of do a base coat So, yellow and purple, when you mix them together, sort of make a gray. So here's some yellow, see? And there's a little bit of purplish. So I kind of mix it and you end up with a, a lighter color that you can kind of throw on there. That's sort of a base coat, you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Look at Piper again. A little bit of loop there. So when I'm doing art classes, what I do is I um, tell my students I have rules. And one of my rules is don't be careful. And they always think, what? Don't be careful? You know. But that's the main rule because when you're careful, you mess up. When you're not being careful, you do great. So as you're painting a piece, you always uh, find out more things about it by looking at it. You sort of notice more stuff. Like, oh, crumble bum bum. So when I look at this board, I see that around the eyes, and you know what's neat about a phone when you're painting, is you can go and make it big. So you can actually see, because I would have never known from this that the eye looked like that. But if you look at it like that, it's like, there it is. And you can see there's a little part that's 
In fact, I'm seeing it right now. A little part there that's, you know. And part of what you do is uh, you know kind of some techniques like you can paint over certain things with other colors that can cover it. So you don't have to worry about it. You can just put down the base stuff and then cover over it with the color you know will cover it. Little trick. Anyway. Uh, so I'm just sort of putting in some basic stuff. Like a background I'm going to do a little bit right now. And here's that tape thing. When you put that paint right up to the paint, when I take off the paint, it'll have that beautiful white pristine border, which is great. This isn't my usual palette, by the way, so I'm not really, I'm sort of challenged by this palette. <laughs> But you know, when you're not being careful, you don't have to be exact. You just throw it in there. See what happens. Hear the sounds? Now I'm making chicken sounds so I get in a mood. The chicken mood. Hi. And you should go out of the lines every once in a while so that you looks like it's hand done. <laughs> Where's my chicken? There she is. A okay. little bit here, maybe. That'll do. So I've learned most of what I know about art by teaching art. And, uh, you know, that's good to learn stuff, like little techniques. But once you start doing it, you really want to talk about techniques. Back to the chicken. Oops. Hmm. Okay, so orange. So orange is yellow and red. Is orange. Yellow, boop, boop, boop. red. Let's see what we get. Wow, that was a really good guess. Hmm. Also, this pole. Well, anyway, I'll think to myself here. You can just watch. Artists aren't supposed to say oops. Uh-oh. So we're just putting in the base coats, hopefully.
See how careful I'm being? I like that though. Sounds. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need a base coat for the floor. Blue, what? Blue floor? Blue. And I'm going to use brown with it. I uh, think this one. Look at that. Is that awesome? We like it. Not bad, huh? The colors really bring out the um, the life in the piece. It's like the drawing, it kind of gives you where to go, but the color is what is alive. It's like, it's color. It's like color. Color is the thing. People, they're tan. But if you look at people, they're actually not tan. They're all different colors. They have greens and blues, and it kind of is hard to look at because people are so many colors. Trees are different colors. <laughs> and there's a tree in here, which I am going to do right now. So. When you add two colors together that are like green and red, and you mix them together, they kill each other. Yeah. So watch. You don't believe me? Here's a green. Right there. See that green? That's green, right? You agree? That's green with a little yellow in it, sort of green? Now watch. Red kills it. See that? The red kills the green. Anyway, little color theory. So, more green. And this is one green. And this is another green, I think. Really bright green. So we need some red to kill that. So, in case you don't know, I'm down here at the Carlton Crafts Fair doing my show. <laughs> and I haven't done a show in a long time. It's been a while. So this is really exciting. Anyway, pretty cool, huh?
Here's a tree. See how careful I'm being? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Some greens popping through. That's awesome. Okay. I got to do a blue background, but I'll do that later. So let's take a look at Piper, the chicken. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some more base coat on Piper. Use some white. You know, kids love my work, and I think that's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Nice orange. Orange mixed with blue kills, you can turn green or more red. Hi. I'm going to sit back here watching me wondering what the heck you're doing. I've got to come up with it. I'm painting. This is sort of work for me. Oh. I got a tough job here. That's all right. <laughs> I'm 100% disabled, disabled, disabled veteran, so. 100%? 100%. Wow. Well, I'm a 100% artist. It's Brenda Lee. They say they're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big star out of me. Make a move about a man who's sad and lonely. And all I gotta do is act naturally. Well, I'll bet you I'm gonna be a big star. Might win an Oscar, you can never tell. 
The movie's gonna make me a big star Cause I can play the part so well I hope you come and see me in the movies Then I know that you will plainly see The biggest fool that ever hit the big time And all I gotta do is act naturally I'm saving doing the, the head for last, even though you really want to do it, because it'll really make contrast. I'm waiting. I'm being patient. Hmm. Okay. I kind of like the bird.
panic. <laughs>
I can. It might be wet. No, it's not too wet. Well, looks kind of farmish. Now the good, the fun part. Got to get this. Ready? Save it. I might do another one. This tape trick is the, the real trick. Ba -ba. This is the back, which may be better. <laughs> <Very nice. laughs> 